Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys a new jailbreak that was just released for iOS 11 all the way to 11.4 beta 3 in terms of jailbreaking and a better jailbreak tool instead of Electra. If you guys want to switch, I'll go ahead and cover that topic today. And sorry, I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately, guys. I've been really busy with school and engineering has been absolutely an amazing and crazy, crazy journey for me for this semester in the school year. And if you guys are following me on Twitter, I do tweet out occasionally about everything that's going on inside of my schooling so with that being said guys I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this jailbreak is about now this jailbreak was made by Pwn21 as well as Spinger and on this jailbreak there are some other developers that also committed into creating this jailbreak as well as having Sorik actually help out and make a better Cydia and more optimized version for this particular jailbreak. Now no one was seeing this jailbreak coming since we've already had Electra, but for the fact that it was released out of nowhere on Saturday aka yesterday as of making this video was an absolutely very shocking and surprising thing for us to see inside of the jailbreak subreddit. So let me go ahead and cover what it is. So basically this jailbreak is called Uncover and it adds a whole bunch of new and more stable patches for this jailbreak. So for example, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I'll go ahead and leave the GitHub page inside of the description if you guys want to read it. But for the most part, all exploits are in the same app. Now if you guys remember the Electra application, there were two specific apps that you guys needed to either sideload or use a third party signing service in order to add on your iDevice which used two different types of exploits but this one integrates both of them into one specific app so we just need the developers to just release updates over time on one application instead of having to download one or two applications on our iDevice. Now some other really great changes on this jailbreak is the fact that there's more faster patches which allows the jailbreak to run much more faster than the Electra one. No more battery drain, random freezes, slowdowns which is a big one for the iPhone 10 if you guys have you been using a jailbreak on the iPhone 10 as well a much better and stable Cydia and it allows a full screen support for the iPhone 10 and if you guys are not yet familiar for the plus series on the iPhones Cydia has not been implemented or optimized to have a full screen Cydia so having this and showing it on my screen later is absolutely amazing so on the technical side of things there are some more things in terms of the jailbreak that it has changed but for the most part not a lot of us are gonna really understand or really care about too much about uh, this technical side of the jailbreak but if you guys want to check it out again this will be inside of the description for you guys to actually read for yourselves now I'm gonna actually show you guys how to add this version on your guys' iDevice without having the need to have a computer with you. So if you guys are watching this and want to jailbreak your guys' iDevice, you guys can go ahead and do that. And as of making this video, version 6 of the jailbreak was released. And now initially when it was released on Saturday, this was not working for me and I really wanted to make a video and have a success rate for you guys and to have something more stable so you guys don't have to worry about a headache. So for right now, version 6 is where you guys want to be in terms of downloading the IPA. And if you guys are going to go ahead and just follow along with this tutorial, then I'll show you guys how to do it without having the need to have a computer so for the first thing if you guys are on a computer and want to actually sideload it with a seven-day certificate with your guys' iTunes email and password then you guys can go ahead and click on the link inside of the description and then you guys will go ahead and just scroll down to where it says the change log right here and you guys will see the RC6 as I'm making this video go ahead and download the IPA right here if you guys want to do this a route and if there is a higher version I recommend you guys just downloading that right away instead of this version 6 but as of right now version 6 is the most stable for me now I'm gonna go ahead and show some screenshots on my screen of my phone right now so the first one I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to basically get it on your guys' iDevice so for the first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and go into Safari and download Tweakbox if you guys do not know how to download Tweakbox pretty easy just go on Google type in Tweakbox go ahead and click on the first link install it and then accept the provisioning profile on your guys' iDevice open it up go to Tweakbox apps and then you guys will just need to scroll down until you see uncovered jailbreak 
RC6 as of making this video. Like I said, once a higher version is up, I'm pretty sure Tweakbox will update it. Just go ahead and click on that and then install it on your guys' iDevice. Then it'll be on your home screen. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is you guys want to go into Cydia. Now, this is a paid application for you guys to do, but it really is worth $3. It's called Backup AZ3 and it's available on the Pack 6 repo if you guys want to go ahead and download this. Now, this application allows you to back up all your Cydia sources, packages, as well as any tweaks or themes that you guys installed on your iDevice as well as the settings for those specific tweaks and it can do a lot more in terms of the system itself and not just Cydia. So this will allow you to back up anything from your guys' iDevice that you made in a jailbroken state now the next thing you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and launch up the uncovered jailbreak and then you guys will be greeted to this screen called uncover and it gives you a pangu type of vibe for this jailbreak now you guys will just see a blue jailbreak button but first you guys want to go ahead and go into the settings in the bottom right hand corner and then change the kernel exploit from el to mp if it's not already selected since you guys are using the tweakbox method now i believe if you guys are sideloading it you guys will need to use the el version if that is the only one that is available for you. So once you guys have that, go back into the main menu inside of Jailbreak. But before this guys, go ahead and just open up your control center, go into airplane mode, and then also go into settings and disable Siri on your guys' iDevice first, and then hit Jailbreak. Now this should work the first time. If it does not work, it might take up to three to five times for the Jailbreak to actually initialize for the very first time. Now I did do this without having the need to use any other application called Roll Electra or D Electra in order to uninstall Electra first. Now it is recommended you do use D Electra or Roll Electra beforehand to remove any traces of a jailbreak so you guys get a fresh jailbreak with Uncover. But in my case, I didn't do it and I went ahead and just jailbroke it. Now, once you guys have that, it might reboot one time and then you guys will need to re jailbreak again, just like the Electra application and with that process. Now, once you guys are there, you guys will see some progress. So the first thing you guys will see is a pop-up that says notice and then it'll say the device will be restarted. Hit okay, it'll restart and then just go ahead and turn on airplane mode again. Make sure Siri is off and then jailbreak your guys' iDevice once again. And you guys will see that it says exploding and then it will go up past 30 and go and increase up to 48. If you hit more than 30, then you guys will know that the success for this jailbreak is working for you perfectly fine, and you guys will need to wait a little longer. Now, once you guys are there and you guys have the jailbreak successful, you guys can go ahead and open up Cydia, and as you guys can see from the screenshot, it is absolutely phenomenal to see that it is actually working and optimized for the iPhone 10, and it is much faster than previous jailbreaks. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm sorry I don't really have a live video of me actually jailbreaking my iDevice. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to jailbreak and upgrade from the Electra jailbreak to the uncovered jailbreak. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below and also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a lot more videos in regards to iOS 11 and hopefully an iOS 12 jailbreak which might possibly be released soon if we get enough exploits as well as developers working for a public released jailbreak. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.